I know we said it was for retirement. But it's our fault, right? We have to yeah, work. We have that in Jersey, and that's kind of something we're trying to get away from. Real estate there is extremely hot. Yeah. So that was going to be our goal, that that is where we would be spending every year. The time is finally here. Decision that we feel is in our best interest. If you followed us on our channel, you know in 2022, we bought a property, Lot 70, at Mayaka River Motor Coach Resort in Port Charlotte, Florida. And we've done a couple of videos. We'll link the latest one above. And in those videos, we talked about the reasons why we bought it. We'll touch upon those reasons in this video. And then we're going to talk about ultimately why we decided to put it for sale. So before we move any further, speaking of campgrounds, we would like to thank the sponsor of this video. The sponsor is back with us for 2023 and they are campgroundviews.com. So campgroundviews.com was founded by our friend Mark, who was a full-time RVer for a very long time. And like many RVers out there, he became frustrated with booking campgrounds and they look a certain way and then you show up and it's something yeah. else. It's happened to many different yes. people, <laughs> including us. So he started campgroundviews.com and what it is, it allows you to take virtual tours of whole campgrounds, including the actual site, the facilities, and you can see them just as you would if you're driving through it. So it's kind of like a Google Maps virtual street view of right. campgrounds. It's pretty amazing. And you can actually book through, through campground there, views right. also. And you can see, like a lot of people like to say, no, we would, how close you are to the yes. person next to you. That's really important You can some see people. like, you know, the uh, the electrical box, like right, everything. Right. When they originally started, they had 140 campgrounds. Now they have over 1,000 campgrounds. That's awesome. And it was over 35,000 campsites and they keep growing. They are going to be launching all of Oregon and all of Washington State Parks, all of them. That's and huge. Then, He's been working so hard. I, oh yeah. Him and his team. Yeah. And then they're also later on this year, California, Texas, New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, Tennessee, and many, many more. They also of course have private campgrounds. Their ultimate goal is to get every campground in the country. And just right. imagine that is quite the undertaking. Mm -hmm. Campgroundviews.com is the only website that has this kind of information out there. They currently have 65% of all federal camp campgrounds in their database. Like I said, they're launching state parks constantly. Campers support you, us. That's what makes this tool happen. It's a great tool. Yeah. And now regarding the prices, you want to ask about prices, you can get it, use it. You want it just for seven days, as low as $6 for seven right, days. Try it out. If it's something you can use all the time, $99 for one year. However, we do have a discount code. If you use the discount code Endless RV, and you will get 25% off. So you're talking 75 bucks for a year, for one year to have a virtual tour. If it saves you on one campground, it's going to be well worth the money. Go check them out, guys. This is again, full-time, former full-time RV Year, knows what he's doing. It's a great, great concept. Go check him out. So the first thing we just want to touch on quickly is why we originally did decide to purchase an RV property. So one of the reasons was right after COVID, a lot of our full-time friends were scrambling. They couldn't find a place to stay when everything broke mm -hmm. loose there. And it was a really scary time for a lot of people. And we knew down the line that we would be moving out of New Jersey, counting the days, and that we would really probably benefit from having a place because we didn't know where, we don't know we're going to land yet. Right. And it would be really make us feel secure knowing that we had a place to go. So that was definitely number one. Number two is we know that we are going going to be spending our winters where it's warm. Once two and a half years is done, Izzy's retired, it will be warm winters for us. So that was going to be our goal, that that is where we would be spending our winters every year. And then the next reason was as an investment, both as a rental property and being that it was in Port Charlotte and just Florida in general, mm -hmm. real estate there is extremely hot. Yeah. Still is. Still is. So we kind of knew that getting into it and going into it. So let's talk about some of the things that we like, and then we'll get into things that we don't like. So the first thing is the income. Now, Mayaka River Motor Coach Resort, it is a high-end motor coach resort, pretty much rents itself. So mm -hmm. November through April, it's rented out. October too, there was- October, well, well yeah, yeah it kind of a little weird last year because of the hurricane, but traditionally every year, it's booked out and it's been no issue. Like it, it pays for itself. Next thing we really like is the people there. We've been there now a couple of times, a handful of times, not with the RV. We have stayed, yeah. Right, when we've been to the Tampa show, we went this year and we hung out with some of the people. They're very welcoming, very, very nice people. Some of the nicest people we've ever met. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we really like there is that it's very well kept, well maintained. They're making 
constant improvements to the resort. It always looks beautiful. Right, a lot of activities and the facilities yeah. are really mm -hmm. nice. So let's talk about things that we don't like and then ultimately why we're selling. So the first thing, and it's, it's not, it's our fault, right? We have to yep. work. We don't get to use it as much as we would like to use it. And the reality is in the winters, we're not going down there. I know we said it was for retirement, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in this video. So the next reason is as we visit Florida every year, and, and we talk to a lot of people that visit and live in Florida, it's getting overdeveloped, overcrowded almost. And we have that in Jersey, and that's kind of something we're trying to get away from eventually when we retire. So that is is one of the reasons. We're yeah. not really comfortable with that. We're always sitting in traffic it's, in Florida in, in the winter. If you look behind us, that's our yard. <laughs> that is for a reason. Listen. <laughs> that is for a reason. And you know, we talked about this and we say, well, Florida is really warm in the winter. It's kind of hot in the summer, although I don't really mind the heat too much. I hate dealing with crowds. crowds. And we did another video right. talking about like, if there's crowds, like we are not by them. We'll link that video <laughs> above. So we both kind of feel that like a lot of people are moving to Florida and it's becoming expensive. It is really crowded. My dad lives down there and he's always complaining about the traffic. The next reason is, and a lot of you probably may know this, this resort does not allow Super C motorhomes. Now we don't have a Super C motorhome, as you know, but it is definitely in our sights for our future motorhome. We really are leaning towards a Super C and certainly class A motorhomes that we're looking at, but that's important to us. Yeah, and then finally is going to be, we started this whole thing saying, and in the last video that it was an investment, right? Mm -hmm. And the property has appreciated a good amount. We feel that maybe there's other opportunities that we could sell, invest that money somewhere else. And, and we're always about trying to make a, if there's an opportunity there, we'll, we'll take that opportunity, especially if it's sitting there and we're not using it. You know right. what I mean? So if you want more information, if you're interested in this, remember it's a class A motor coach resort right. only. But if you're interested, you can go to Mayaka River Motor Coach Resort. You go to sales. It's only sale by owner. Owner. Ours is lot 70. It does not have a casita on it. You can put one, mm -hmm. but with that being said, it costs a lot less than the ones with the casita. Now, the price is on there, contact information is on there. We are in no rush to sell. We're looking to sell for the price that we want. And if we keep it, then we keep it. It's okay. It's Eventually, fine, right? it'll it'll continue appreciating. We're okay with that. <laughs> in the comments below, let us know, have you been to Mayaka River Motor Coach Resort? There's a couple lots for sale. I think there's like four. There's about four. They yeah. usually sell pretty quick too. They do. There's a couple with casitas and about three or four without. Yeah, if you've been down to Florida in the winter, let us know. The other thing we didn't touch upon is that, you know, we were saying we'll probably go down there one winter and then we're gonna wanna travel. Like, I know, we're, we're gonna, gonna be on the road a lot. The whole time. I know. So if we maybe <laughs> go out to Vegas and different places, who knows what the future holds, maybe we'll land who somewhere knows? else. <laughs> to the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our campground reviews. We'll also put our RV Newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.